Anyway, welcome back. Check it out. Here you have the mini chainsaw. Um, this is a decent size one, 24 volt uh, battery charged. It's cordless. Here's how it comes, lithium ion battery. Not much else on the package. Links down below in the description if you're interested in one. Um, so here's what you get in the box. You get two batteries, which is great. Get some sweet safety glasses. You get a spare chain. You've got to love that. Get a, looks like you get a chain sharpener here. Or, oh, sorry. Not a chain sharpener. It's just a screwdriver. <laughs> My bad. Probably for adjusting the chain. Uh, in the package here, you have some light duty gloves, a little brush, a little bottle for. Looks like you could put oil in it, it's empty. And the manual. You have the battery charger. And then of course you have the unit itself. See, pretty good size deal. Got a primer here. It says to use a lot of oil. We gotta get some bar oil in there. It's got a big safety guard, which is cool. So you gotta push the button in to get the trigger to go. Okay. Well, not much to it. Let me get the battery charged up. Batteries. And we'll go out there and we'll go cut some stuff with it and uh, put some bar oil in and have some fun. So we'll be right back. While we're waiting on the batteries, so the screwdriver goes here to adjust the bar tension. And then, of course, you'll, you'll screw this looser and this cover will come off. And that's where you can get underneath there um, to adjust things, right? So in the manual here it shows. Where was I seeing here? Guess it starts there, but yeah, you flip the deal up, screw it loose. Then you see you can get in there. You can remove it to change the chain. Uh, make sure you got the chain going the right way. Tensioning it. Yeah, so it's all in there in the manual. Shows you how to do it. So I'm sure you guys know if you're watching this, but if not, there you go. You can see my mess here spilled oil all over so inside here is a pretty small it chokes down so if your bar oil is pretty thick you want to keep an eye on it because once it starts getting too too full to run through that little hole it'll come out and spill all over so just something to keep an eye out for not a big deal but i like to learn the hard way so i took the little tiny squirt bottle ish thing here and i put some of my local woods logging supply bar oil in it and I just shot it into the chain and ran it around and just put it in there. Make sure it gets a lot of it on the bar for the first time and underneath the chain. Just to make sure she's lubed up for the first test. But I did pop a battery in so I could run it around. You'll see there's lights here. So I guess that kind of shows you the battery level as you're running. Um, feels like it's got good power. We'll find out here shortly. All right, we got it charged up. We got it oiled up. Let's see if we can cut this little stick right here, just for a test. Not even a challenge. Side note, you can cut blackberries with it too. I plan to use it on lots of little projects like limbing these little maple shoots and stuff that come off that I don't like. Not a problem for that.
Then you can tell when it's running now that it's charged how full the battery is. Perfect for lemon and stuff like that. That's what I got it for. Awesome. All right, guys, this is going to work great for what I need to use it for. Um, the two batteries are going to last me a very long time for just for lemon and stuff around the yard that, you know, you can just get in there, get it. No cords, no gas engines, no fuel to mix. Um, that's a win. So let me know what you think down below in the comments. Make sure you uh, subscribe. And if you're interested, there's links down below. Appreciate you guys watching this. We'll catch you on the next one.